Hi, everybody. Welcome to Meme Coin Showdown. Which meme coins are going to make it? Is it your meme coin? Is it Pepe or Ben? We've got six of them. If you're into meme coins, you're going to want to see this because we have a way of looking at meme coins that no one else does. That's, a, that's of course, thanks to my co-host, Toby. Toby, hi. Welcome to Showdown. Thanks for having me again. It's nice to have you back. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about this method that we have for picking meme coins. And, you know, maybe you can tell people why they should take it more seriously than they might. Oh, well, I've been reading tarot cards for a really long time. And previously, I'd always use them as a way to read the energy around what was going on with a person, right? So this is my first foray into non-human <laughs> readings, right? Or collective people, right? Well, people yeah, together, and that's right? that's how, you know, that's how I was explaining to you how I kind of think of it now is it's a the re reading of a movement of of energy. And you know, this sometimes maybe sounds a little woo-woo, but there is scientific evidence around it in quantum mechanics and the, the fact that all of us create these energy movements. We're electromagnetic beings, right? Um, so great groups of people should actually be relatively easy to read, is what I'm thinking. And you did get Pepe. I did, I did. So yeah, the, I guess the the thing now is, you know, how it translates for a large group of people or uh, a coin. So, um, it, but it's a lot of fun. And, you know, we've had some good picks, so. All right, yeah, she did get Pepe. If you go back and watch the video, I actually didn't translate it right. I'll fess up. Toby was like, hey, there's some great energy behind Pepe. And I should have listened. So, <laughs> okay. Me too. So <laughs> with, with, with that said, we're going we're gonna to bring our experimental method over to six different meme coins, right? Yeah. We're gonna, we've got Pepe, Ben, right? That's Ben Armstrong. We've got Homer, as in Simpson, Milady off that NFT project. Shrooms and Jen, as in generational wealth, G-E-N. Mm. Okay, so who will thrive? Who will thrive? Okay. Right? So Toby's going to pull one card per coin and then read that card. And then we're both going to try to translate. After Pepe last time, I'm going to let Toby do more <laughs> of the talking. Okay. I think you have a really good translation there. So. All right. Um, so I'll hold up the card. It, do you want to hold up the the coin sure. at the same time so okay. obviously everybody knows our friend pepe yeah. so here comes pepe okay so pepe got the three of wands very interesting so the three of wands um, actually shows a, a little bit of stability right so you when you have two wands that, that's a fairly stable it's not a total foundation but it shows a movement out of where it's been and, and broaching into new territory. So it's a card of expansion, um, but expansion based on a decent foundation of, of two. Okay? Okay. Ready for the next one. Okay. And then you can do kind of a summary. Okay, idea. so holding it up oh. over there. So we're gonna have we're gonna have Ben. Okay. Ben is next. Okay. okay. That's Ben Armstrong as in BitBoy. All right. And for BitBoy, we have Victory. Victory. Yeah, this is a great card. Um, You've come through a battle and you're going to be given accolades and noted as a hero. So that's pretty good energy for, for a card. Right. So for the bid squad, victory. Mm -hmm. Okay. Homer Simpson. Yeah, okay. How far can they push the meme coin theme? Homer, oh, Homer. <laughs> right. As we can see, Homer's working out and eating donuts, right? All right. If you work so, out that much, I guess you can have you, you can afford the donuts, right? Oh, harvest card. This is a good one. Although it doesn't indicate um, rewards now, it indicates rewards that are worth waiting for. Okay. So so this is harvest, but we're not harvesting yet. You can see he's going like this, waiting patiently to reap the rewards coming in. Okay. Maybe maybe Homer will get an official license from the Simpsons. Who knows? Okay. All right. So we've got Milady. Okay. Do you want to hold her up? I don't know. Okay. We have Milady from the NFT project. Yeah. Okay. Was that kind oh. of a Elon Musk meme coin? And 
she's got temperance. This is a major arcana. So that's some some powerful energy. Temperance is the card that represents that alchemical um, process um, that the mystics were looking for, the elixir of life. And you can see she's she's blending things together. So I don't know anything about this card, but there's a there's a combination of of elements that are coming together. I would say this is a a good sign, but possibly not. Oh, it seems like it, it's more of a work in progress rather than you know, something like, that would experience a mania. Uh, yeah, we're and the only one I'm seeing right now that's potentially that this looks maybe stay and broaden, but this one so far the. Um, Right. The Big Ben boys. coin looks like it just of the ones we have so far. But, you know, I like the cute little psychedelic mushroom ones. Okay, like so we've got the one. psychedelic group, shrooms, shrooms. Page of cups, page of cups. So um, pages usually signal a message. When you have a cups, it's a water sign. It's very emotional. There's some energy of frivolity around this. Like it's not too serious. Right. Maybe people aren't taking it very seriously. The page of cups, he's a bit silly, you know, <laughs> which I guess if you're taking mushrooms, then that, but that right. Mush fit. mushrooms and meme coins. Right. That would fit. Good. Yes. So there's a lot of playfulness around this card, um, but I'm not really seeing, it's not a bad indication, but not necessarily, <clears throat> excuse me, a strong message of, of any real energy coming around it at this time. Right. No Pepe energy. Yeah. All right. As good as the Pepe. All right. So for the manly man, Gen coin, G-E-N. Let's see if we get a manly generational card. Wealth. Oh, we get the death card. <laughs> oh, my. oh my God. I was, I was kind of hoping somewhere in meme coin showdown, we, we would get, have, we, we would get the death card. Yeah. Well, in the death card is really, um, it is really, really interesting. Obviously, if I pull this in reading for a person, it's not like you're going to die tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but the energy around the death card is really about letting go of things from the past. And it and it's super interesting because a lot of studies that I'm into, which I thought this was this was the manly card, was was really kind of interesting because sort of that sort of an energy, we're kind of moving away from that a little bit, you know, this, okay. this excessively macho kind of an energy. And so maybe there's that kind of a shift in there. I mean, my, I mean, I sort of feel like the concepts behind a lot of cryptocurrency are very feminine in nature. It's fluidity, the fact that it moves and everything. So, I don't know, interesting. But what I would say of all of these cards, um, this this one looks like it's going to get the most movement as far as immediate. Um, this one looks like just more expansion a little bit later. And then this one's kind of a, a maybe. I, and I don't know anything about this card, but there's some process going on with it. Um, this one is just kind of silly. Maybe nobody will take it seriously. And this one is like, I don't know, kind of a been there, done that sort of energy for me. All right. So to sum it up, so for Pepe, Okay, stability sounds like sounds like a broad range, like consolidation, particularly since the move in Pepe was so epic as predicted by Toby. And BitBoy's been telling you don't underestimate Bencoin, right? He basically took it over. Right? It, and, it looks like a victory. And, yeah. and you know, BitBoy does take a lot of flack. He's very popular, but with that comes a lot of haters, right? So he's got. I'm sure, I have mine. Huh? <laughs> right, <laughs> right. Go ahead. As, Haters as gotta hate. Right, unfollow. <laughs> right, right. Homer is like, man, maybe later if they get licensing. You know, Milady, maybe later. Mushrooms or shrooms, kind of silly, mm, right? That's the energy around it right now. Right, and then Jen is the death card. Now, is it the death card of Jen or is it the death card? Of like, I don't know, maybe the silliness of all this. 
No, it, it could be the, the one thing. And that's the thing with the death card. It doesn't mean that something is ending, but it means the way that it's been doing things is not the way it should do it in the future. So that was the reading I got on it, that, that, that there's this old way maybe of meme coin, like you said, silliness, and maybe they'll be more taken more seriously now. Oh, maybe. maybe. I mean, it, it's, there's a change with death cards. There's always a change. A must change in order to survive. So maybe it's only the serious coins that survive. And again, let me not put words in Toby's mouth. <laughs> uh, ben, ben is the winner. Okay, that's it for this week. We'll see you next time.